The end is near. The end is near. Form D4, line plot still. Now, when you see this, there's more to this problem. These line plot problems are basically one entire page. So here's the second part of the page. And I'll put that forward once we go through the question. Okay. Form D4, number 23. Eric... I had a student last name. His name was Eric. I have a cousin whose name is Eric. Eric put four one-fifth cups. So we are dealing with fractions again. Look, fractions, fractions, data points. Rewind. Eric put four one-fifth cups of dog food, he has a dog, into his dog food bowl. Each day, Eric, remember on these problems, word problems, you can change the name to anything. Could put each day, Miss Lahardy, Miss Marin, Miss Rodez, Mr. D. Each day, Eric recorded the amount of dog food that was taken Taken means subtract. You take it away. Wow, wow, wow. From the dog food bowl each day for five days. One, two, three, four, five. So dog, not too hungry, a little more hungry. Really hungry these days. Amount of dog food that was taken each day in cups. So on this day, we don't know what day it was. Could have been the first day, last day, don't know. It doesn't really matter, to be honest. Eight one fifth. Eight two fifths. Eight four fifths. Eight four fifths. Eight four fifths. Because look, one, two, three. This is saying four over five plus four over five plus four over five. When we add fractions, that denominator stays the same, but the top number you add. Okay? So on this, these three days, it ate 12 fifths, which is an improper fraction. Notice how the top number is bigger than the bottom number. So let's get some of the academic vocabulary back. Review of Unit 3, improper fraction. Remember that we can make 12 over 5 into a mixed number. I'm kind of jumping around just to review too. Why not? Because it's fun. Bottom number stays the same. 5 times 2 is 10 plus 2 is 12 fifths. 12 over 5 is the same thing as 2 2 fifths. Yeah? So here's what we need to do for the problem. The line plot above, which is that, shows the amount of dog food that was taken from the dog food bowl on each of the five days. Choose the fraction. So you need to do this one, this one, this one. All right, that, wait, that's not even a fraction. That's a whole number. That shows how much dog food in cups was left in the dog food bowl at the end of the fifth day. Okay, we will come back to this paper in a moment. So let's write down what we know. One. Four one-fifths total dog food. It's what we know. So this was put in the bowl. This was taken out, taken out, taken out. We know that all of this is two and two fifths. So I'm going to write down two and two fifths. All of this is all of this. Let's make it pop. So I added all of these, which was this. The dog ate that amount, really hungry dog, four fists, four fists, four fists, and then the dog ate this and this. So I'm going to add plus two over five, 
plus 1 over 5. Hungry dog. So, let's do this. Back to unit 3. When you're adding, you just add the numerator. 2, 3, 4, 5. I have room. Where am I going to put this? Over here. This would be 2 and 5 over 5. When you have a fraction that is 5 over 5, that is the same thing as one whole number. So this is exactly the same thing as 3. Okay? Now watch this. I love colors. It really pinpoints what I'm looking at. Let's change this. Oh gosh, we're going to change this to green. Green. Switcheroo! Okay, so on this day, or these days, get a two and two fifths of cups. Two and two five cups of dog food. But we need to add all of them and then subtract. So on this day, eight two fifths. This day, eight one fifth. So we add all of them. It ate three cups. Here's this part. Four and one fifths was the total. Takeaway. Three, eight, four, five days. Now this problem works out beautifully because all we are doing is subtracting the whole numbers and then we just bring down the fraction. This is the amount that was left in the dog food bowl at the end of the fifth day. Okay, so the dog did not eat everything, or it did not eat all the dog food. Let's be specific and clear. So to summarize, always when you are finished with a math problem, go back and summarize what you did, okay? Whether it's math, language arts, anything in life, just hit the main important points. So let's go back and summarize. Eric started with four and one-fifths in the dog bowl. The dog came in at eight, 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 eight. How much was left? Well, we add all the amounts that it ate and we calculated it to be three cups worth. We knew that Eric started with four and one fifths in the bowl, but the dog ate three cups over the five days. So does Eric have to put more dog food in the bowl for the sixth day? No, because there is still some dog food left over. One cup, one-fifth. Okay? Eight minutes, 27 seconds. These problems, look at this. It goes on and 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 on. It's a lot of steps. But always start with what you know, what you're given. Remember, this is math, and we've done a lot of math. This is video number 76 this year. And that's about, you know, 10,000 hours worth of videos. I'm kidding. It's, you know... It's a lot to hopefully help you master or become challenged or benchmark this year on our district test and nail that state test. So back to the original point. Go with what you know and then solve for what the question is asking. Later, this four-day weekend... Uh, Read, 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 do some math, memorize those math facts, then read, 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 do some more math, do those math facts, read, 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 then go outside and play, right? Play, experiment, learn, be creative. Later.